What is happening? Welcome to the Nick and Alex baseball <laughs> show where we pass time talking about the past time. Yes, he's here. He's here. I, I, I'm Nick Pollock, joined by the actual <laughs> real from California back to New York inside of my wonderful soundproof room that I made for him. And then he leaves me. Alex Fast, it's so good to see you, buddy. What was the adjective? It was a lot. I, I it was made hyphenated. him a soundproof room so he leaves me. Nick, you and know, I, Nick and I had a big fight before this <laughs> podcast started. We're just going to go right into it. No, okay? come on. Chat. Oh, God. Listener, who's the best Ninja Turtle? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Time out. Fast doesn't even know which ones have which weapons. Hey, yeah. hey the side and he tried to do it with his fingers and couldn't do it that's not a teller right i'm like look, are you joking it looks like the guy from scary movie uh, uh, so. trying to make the side there, i don't need to know any of the other weapons and who has them because everyone knows that the best ninja turtle no. hands down no. is michelangelo it's not even close no we all know it's donatello the smart one anyway no. thank you all so much for being here for another week of right. the nick and alex baseball show baseball show is what this show is about and before we begin, of course, thank you all so much for rating and reviewing us on Apple and everywhere else that you listen to your podcast. We had a really nice review from F. Osmo. Would you like to read that one out? I would. This is so kind. Fantastic show. Five stars. Nick and Alex are hilarious together as they discuss my favorite topic of baseball. My only note would be more Kyle no! Farnsworth. No! Oh, roll the tape, baby. No, no, no. Roll no. Get the it tape. out of here. Get out. We're not going to do that today. If you want to know everything about the, the Kyle Farnsworth haunting us, uh, that was our last episode, and that was something. That was, that was an episode is what that was. Zelda's name. Her middle name is Zelda. <laughs> Zelda Kyle Farnsworth Fast. Oh, my Lord. All right. This is what we do on the Nick and Alex baseball show. We have fun. We, we don't just... talk about baseball. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. It's just like the medium for us to be really, really stupid all the time. But yeah. uh, I'm just happy to get to use this room like I we designed. It. No! Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I'm what sorry. did you do? I hit the table. You freakish I, long-limbed look. man. <laughs> what did you do? That's that's it. I I'm so not used to this. Because you are gone, like that I'm going to... flinging your appendages about. <laughs> oh. uh, well, I hope she's. I hope you know she's. She's tall and long and lanky, and then I can teach her how to throw a Don't fastball. Talk about then, my daughter, and then she can play in the majors. Let's, I would love to do that. Where did we lose this podcast? <laughs> Bring it back. All right, as we always do, we're gonna start with pitcher trivia. Okay, as my knees are knocking into fast because I need more space. <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> All right, so Eric, would you like to put the graphic on the screen as fast as now? You know, I look down like is the Brady Bunch. Uh, who is this mystery pitcher? Let us know in the chat. We can guess who it could be. This pitcher has 94.2 innings this year, yep. a 2.57 ERA, a 0.97 whip, but just a 21% strikeout rate, a 5% walk rate, 28% CSW, a 92.6 mile per hour fastball. And only 9.4% swing strike rate. I got it. You got it. You I know what it. it is. I only record yeah. is five and five, though. Five yeah, I got it. I got it. Because I was looking when I was looking at potential Cy Youngs, I was like, could you could you make a could this person get a vote? And if uh, they continue yeah. to do this, they could. Yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. what it is now. All right. Well, uh, save that. We'll we'll see at the end of the the podcast if he got it right. Because I mean, Fast used to do this with the first pitch, and I loved it. Mm. So I feel like this is a good way to do it. And if you want to see all those stats, those wonderful columns, Satcast that, of course, you gotta be checking out our player pages. That's where you'll find all of it, all the fun stuff. But hey, fast! We've got another episode of baseball talk, not not Ninja Turtles, and you got a Boring. thing on your mind, don't you? I do. I was thinking about this this week. There's a really fantastic John Boy breakdown of the brawl that occurred. Right, he between... kills it with that every time. This this truly might be his magnum opus. I mean, like there are people I even see on Twitter who are staunchly anti John Boy, who are like, "All right, I got to give it to John Boy on this one. This one is absolutely fantastic." And it was a thorough, in depth breakdown of the brawl between the Mariners and the Angels. Now, I don't know about you, but after that occurred, it was tough for me to find out what the, the impetus was, right? There yeah. wasn't like a very clear thing. Like there was, of course, the Mike Trout throwing, but then he right. goes back and breaks it down into the Justin Upton high and tight. And also Julio Rodriguez. Oh, no, uh, Rodriguez on the other game as well? Rodriguez was on? the beginning of the Sunday game. Okay. Trout was the day, game before, right. and then Upton was the series before. Gotcha. So this had been... Okay. This had yeah. been Brewing. Yeah, this has been brewing. And I, I was thinking the reason I came to my our thing of the week is I was watching actually the, the Stanley Cup with my wife because her my father in law, her husband is a big lightning fan. OK, and she was watching. So a game. sorry for him. Uh, thank you. He's fine. They won two out of three. Um, <laughs> they uh, at one point, obviously, it's hockey. They just brawled. And uh, she was like, wait, they just fight. 
Yeah. And I was like, yeah, they fight. And she yeah. was like, it just can happen. And I was like, yeah, it yeah. can happen. And There's emotions, was, Chris. And it, that's even a part of fantasy hockey. Like the, you get points for people who engage in fights. Wait, uh, no, no, wait. Are you serious? Yes, yes. Wait, in fantasy hockey? Yes. You they can... have points for punches thrown or just no, being involved? No, I believe in... it's like people who throw but, down the gloves but, and stuff. Okay, wait, wait. So I'm just trying to understand the point at which they are involved with a fight. Like how do they, is there because a scorekeeper a for like was involved in a fight? Yes, check? I think so because they really? make a decision to like consciously be like, okay, me and right. him throw the puck, we're gonna but, fight. But like, let's say, okay, like you, we see our two teammates fighting, and I see you, you're on the other team, oh, and yeah. I'm just like, yo, what's up? Uh -huh. Is that a fight? Oh no, no, no! It, it's clear in hockey; they make it clear. Okay, it, okay, but I'm, I'm just not, like, hey, buddy, stay away from my friend. It's you know, the fact that I keep getting used where I drop, <laughs> where I get confused, like the fact that I'm the dummy. Um, anyway, to bring it back to the point of baseball, <laughs> I kind of think we need more of them. I think oh, we man. need more brawls, and I want to so, let you know why. Okay, because well, uh, one, arguably, if there's two options, right? I'm gonna throw a 98 mile an hour fastball at you, or you and I, we're just gonna throw a couple punches. Honestly. The damage that can be done with the 98 mile an hour fastball is arguably worse than a couple of guys throwing a few punches. It's better for the sport. Hockey makes it work. Let's just do it. It's okay. fun. Okay, so there are a lot of things here. First of all, you want your boy Matt Brash to come back because <laughs> yeah. he wants Super Brash Brothers Super, Brawl. Yeah. That's what you're looking for here. I, I, I've i actually thought about this a little bit. The, um, the, the Yanks <laughs> at the table again. Yankees and Red Sox. Those brawls from like the early 2000s. When you think of like that rivalry, that's when it was at its peak, right? And they hated each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, those two teams really hated it. I, I remember, you know, I was, uh, I was, I guess I was around like 14, 15 at the time. And I loved it. Mm. I, I loved the uh, the energy around how much it meant going against the Red Sox, right? Because they actually hated each other. Of course. The Yankees and Red Sox don't hate each other right now. It's not as They fun. haven't for a long time. Yeah. And there have been some moments. There was, what, with Tyler Austin slamming his bat and breaking it in a home plate. But was that even the Reds? I think it was. I don't know. I think it was. I don't know. Right. And... There's a part of me that's like, oh, yeah, right. We need we need that because it, it really ignites the fire, the passion, the emotion. And you need the drama. But uh, but the thing is, that's violence. And I can't sit here and say, yes, violence. Ha ha. That's what I want. Yeah. You know? But isn't isn't purposefully throwing someone violence? Isn't purposely. Like, I'm not, I'm gonna I'm not you in favor of that either. Exactly. But if one of them is going to happen. One of them is going to happen. I mean, give me the brawl. Oh, okay. Give okay. Me the brawl. So, so, so you're saying, look, pitchers are just being obnoxious and throwing guys anyway. Might as well get the brawls in there too. Might as well, just like hockey. You and me, we got beef right now. We're gonna do it. Oh my god. Send out, send out your fighter. <laughs> send them out, baby. <laughs> Williams asked you, Dio. Can they all? Can they all just be like? Doing a quick loop as you select <laughs> your fighter. Yeah, exactly. The one guy steps out of the dugout. He starts, you know, wobbling back and forth. Like, no, next one. And then <laughs> Daniel Vogelbach <laughs> verse. He like, I'm all about it. Uh, yeah, okay. If, if it's like it. that, you know, if the stadium has a little spotlight they can put on it too. I, I guess I'm I'm for it then. I, apparently, Chad has let me know that I, that I don't think uh, it, it is a tracked hockey stat in fantasy anymore, but it is a tra NF NHL fighting major leaders from 2021 to 2022. Oh so it is still something that seems like it is tracked, uh -huh. but I, maybe I'm wrong about, yeah, away fights and home fights and total fights. Oh, my God. Uh, as of June 28th, 2022. This is fantastic. I thought this was still tracked in fantasy hockey. I don't know much about fantasy hockey, so I apologize if I'm wrong. Anyway, Nick. Hi. What 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 about you? What's Look, I'm I'm a little bit more like about positivity and not everybody throwing down on each other. You right. know? Yeah. Okay. Takes two. To because two. honestly, I think we don't talk about how good the Padres are enough, and I think this is kind of blowing my mind a bit. Okay. All right. If you think about all the things that the Padres have dealt with, Tatis is just not playing right now. We don't even know if he's going to come back. Not right? according to the All Star. Can you votes. name me three hitters on the Padres not named Manny Machado? Yeah, of course. Go ahead, Jake Cronenworth. Um. Oh my God! Yeah, no, okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. See, Eric Hosmer. Okay, great. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, okay, no, yeah, and, uh, no, yeah. come on, Trent uh, Christian. Uh, sure, okay. And I can do more. And his and are How's any of them? Kim? Who's the second highest WAR hitter on that team? Um, Manny Machado's one, of course. Who's second? It wouldn't. It probably wouldn't be Cronenworth. Probably wouldn't be Myers. Probably uh, actually probably Hosmer because of nope. the early season. No, nope. no. Nope. Then 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 it's not Cronenworth. This man has 47 runs and 119 uh, WRC. Yeah, yep. Exactly, 119 Come WRC. Come on, baby! Got I'm, just, it all. I'm just saying, like, I yeah, how difficult all. that is. That's insane. And I think everybody listening goes, wait, what? Profar is the second best hitter on the Padres right now. And what's their situation? They are 45 and 30. They're the fifth best record in baseball. Yeah. That's insane. 
They are right behind the Dodgers here. Clevenger has missed significant time, has not been significant. Blake Snell has just not been any good. We have Mackenzie Gore not necessarily being at his best right now. We have Joe Musgrove going through COVID. I mean, fortunately for them, Darvish has been a lot better than good. And Sean Manaya has been solid, but still had a long stretch of... Uh, and by the way, I think I just got a drive-by or something. And I don't know what it was. Was that... Eric, you're messing around again. It doesn't matter. Oh, the dads. Look at us. Look at us. Look at Eric. Is, Eric is doing some fun stuff on the video here, and I love it. I love it. Oh, oh the Padres, 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 the dads. I love dads, it. Nice. Anyway, uh, he is a dad, and, you know, I'm not, but it's fine. The Padres need more love facts. You're a daddy? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what what does that mean, Fast? The family show. Please, that's just, yeah, it's a family show. Oh my god. On. All right. Let's just move um, on. Um, so yeah, we gotta we gotta give the Padres more praise for what they've done. Is that is that acceptable to you, yeah, Fast? Totally you gonna just... I gotta get I, I'm a little excited that I got the jerks and profar thing, but I, I agree. I can hear where you're coming from. They're not like uh w- there's a topic that we're gonna talk about today, which is uh, you know, MVP and uh-huh. I don't want to spoil who your choice is, but there are candidates on the Padres that I didn't realize were having an MVP caliber season. Yeah. You're right. It's a team that doesn't get as much. You don't. Who is their rival? Right. It's probably the, oh, it's the Dodgers. It's the Dodgers. But like, you don't hear that as much as you do. Like, oh, it's Giants. Right, but Dodgers. I remember. Do you remember the beginning of 2021? That series with Tatis yeah. against the Dodgers. That was the best series, yeah. man. Yeah, it is kind of problem. Uh, it does crack me out that Tatis is might be an all-star despite having not played a game yeah. um which lets you know that that system is broken but it I mean, is gonna at be at the same time like it's not like he's taking the spot from somebody as a shortstop yeah well someone else goes in in the place because he can't do it oh 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 yeah i hear what you you're know? saying but it, it, it inherently shows a flaw in the system you know what sure I mean? but it's also like the fans are like no those guys are the the staples of the league you know yeah there's something to be said about that. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. I, I agree with what you're saying, too, that it's almost like when when Atlanta went on that 14 game win streak. I was like, I don't know. Are people talking about this as much? And right. San Diego is the exact same way. It's just not something that's on, in my, in my opinion. Yeah, not something that's on the radar quite as much. And maybe it is because guys like jerks and profile are the people who are helping. Right. Doing this. Pretty, pretty awesome. I got you, San Diego. I got you. Yeah. Thanks. Got you. All right. Uh, moving on here. We're going to go to the image of the week that does not include Kyle Farnsworth. <laughs> We'll see. It doesn't. We'll uh, see. We'll see if see. Eric got I, my Venmo. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to go first here. Uh, and I, I want to give more praise to someone that, you know, you might not know did something really cool. We talk all the time about like Angel Hernandez and CB Buckner. You totally. know, these like really, really bad uh, you know, days at the plate. We had the, the Toronto Blue Jays hitting coach get tossed before the game mm. because of such a bad day before. So I want to give praise where it was due. And this is Chad uh, Whitson's uh, umpire scorecard. Chad Whitson. Across the entire game, 100% called strike accuracy. Mm. And only two pitches uh, that were inside the zone were called a ball. And they're like borderline right at the bottom of the zone. Yeah. And that's it for the entire game. Yeah. Two pitches. That's that unbelievable. super close. So what is this, Kansas City versus the Guardians? Uh, against the, uh, the uh, Athletics. Athletics. Okay. It's unbelievable. 5-3 game. It's, it's one of those games that, like, I don't think many people are saying, hey, Dad, put on, I, I got to check ESPN. I live in Chicago, and I got to know the Athletics Royals score yeah. right now, yeah, right? Yeah. And this kind of thing could just get blown over, and no one could know about it. Chad Whitson deserves all the credit for this. It's a thankless job. You're right. It, really is. it, it, it is like you're right because it's funny. Uh, uh, there was a fantastic foolish baseball um, a yeah. video that came out about right. what does bad umpiring look like. You guys should be checking it out. It's a great video. He's a great person. Uh, you should sub to him. He's great. Um, as opposed to Dom to him. He. Uh, oh, this is your photo. Yeah, we're two <laughs> yeah, for two. Eric. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, That's great. What a guy. And he brought up how, uh, you know, Angel Hernandez got all this flack, you know, justifiably for that terrible uh, game that he called on Sunday Night Baseball for the Phillies. I think it was Phillies. It was a division rival game. Who was it against? It was Phillies someone. I can't remember who it was. Uh, um, it was Atlanta, wasn't it? Yeah, I think. Was it Atlanta? I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think maybe. No, it was Mets. I think it was Mets. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that wasn't even in the top 10 worst called games so far this year. Yeah. And that was kind of impressive. And it's it's the same thing as like when they used to show that Mike Trout home run grab in Baltimore sure, right, and right, was like right. he's the greatest yeah but it was, that was just fielder. one one element of it yeah, exactly right, yeah. so I, but the, the opposite is true we should be giving them more credit and so I, I dig this a lot. yeah cool so you, you have the same exact positivity with your uh 
with with your photo, right? We're keeping it back to the brawl, baby. <laughs> We're doing like the brawl cast. This is what this is. This had me dying. This was another thing from the John Boy video. And at first he didn't talk about it, and then he came back to it at the very end. And this was Noah Sandicar in the middle of uh, of this brawl. He ends up looking like I said it was like a like a Dark Souls villain. His hair, oh at one point, his hoodie. I don't even comes... know how to make this. Like, like what am <laughs> I looking at? at? So his hair. <laughs> what am I looking at? Fast? He's trying to, he bends over to go help someone in the fight. And then his hood of like from his sweatshirt <laughs> goes over his head. And then the thing on the right is just his blonde hair. The only thing that's out is his blonde hair. You know those like monsters? Wait, in... that's his hair? That's his hair. <laughs> that's his hair. The only thing, there's those monsters in Dark Souls where it's just a, like a hood and then yeah. teeth. Oh, yeah. Like that's what that reminds me of. And then he, he takes his hood oh, down. And, and, that's, oh, and that's his arm coming out to the right holding somebody. That's Exactly. Just... Oh, and there's an arm <laughs> coming in towards him. He's just like, I don't know what's going on, dude. Like some, my head disappeared for a second. He flips his hair back after this. There's a little Kyle Farnsworth behind him peeking down. Oh, do you no. see him? I, I, I do. Kyle the low. No, let's not do that right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting images of, of Sleepy Hollow at the moment. Yeah, personally. that works. That works. Yeah, yeah. Ichabod Crane right there. There it is. Yeah, that was, there was a lot of great moments from that fight. Jesse Winker uh, after, well, first of all, uh, um, Rice L. Iglesias just yeeting a oh, thing of sunflower, sunflower seeds. seeds. I know. I was tempted to do that one, and I saw yours. I was like, okay, fine. That was great. But then Jesse Winker thinking that they were trying to start a fight again, so he runs back out. He's like, let's go! And all the mariners are like, no, he's yelling at the umps. He, I gotta, he like smile. I gotta say, one of the things about this brawl, I mean, there's so many elements. Yeah. But I, I, I really dig Jesse Winker. You yeah, know, me someone too. sent him pizza. That's great. You know, and he thanked them for it. Uh, that he guy got apologized. A huge tip. You know, he obviously did the. Uh, you know, he gave the bird to uh, everyone. Everyone, but then he apologized about it. You know, John <laughs> Starks didn't in the in the nineties when he did it to Miami, mm. right? And Justin Winkers like, look, guys, I'm sorry. I was just in the moment and everything, but I don't know. I kind of dig the thing. He has a whole thing with the Mets too. I dig it. He's you got, know, he's got, he's is got he going to wave to the fans or not? You know. Yeah, I dig it. I, yeah. I like it, and he's been performing better recently, I mean, which is great. I mean, too. we've seen this from from players a good amount, and I like this. I gotta say, we need more villains. You yeah. know, I think villains are a good thing for the game. It depends what the villain is, right? Right, because Bauer's a villain. We don't want well, yeah, that. Yeah, but not 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 that that kind of villain. I'm talking like Joey Votto about to give it to a fan and throwing it over the thing, Granky. just like Granky did. If you guys, I mean, if you guys didn't hear this, this is amazing. Someone yeah. was gonna sign it for an autograph when it was an adult. And he took the ball and just threw it and goes, why'd you do that? Because I don't know, it was entertaining. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know who's a great villain? Batista. Why? Jose Batista was a great villain, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the Odor punch against punch. Odor. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the room was divided on Batista. And it's a brawl, so Fast loves it. I mean, oh, there's a lot of great brawls. Some of the most memorable moments. Of, uh, uh, Pedro Martinez? Like, come on, I mean, there's I great felt, brawls. I, my, my heart sank for Don Zinner. No, but those are defining moments yes, in I baseball. Know, I know. It's like, oh, come on, Nick, get over it. I, I get it. But, like, I, man, you just see the representation of this guy that used to be, like, the strongest man in every room. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know, here he is at this age, just getting thrown to the side because he thought he could handle Pedro Martinez. It, just, it was just sad. But, right, that is such a legendary thing, the entirety of it. I remember totally. Corey Basada talking about his head and then, then, you know, Pedro Martinez and the whole thing. Manny Ramirez getting a ball not even inside. It was just high. And using that as an excuse to go after Clemens, I believe, in that moment. Love it. Yeah. Oh, man. We need more villains. Need more brawls. We need, we need, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I just remember I have a distinct memory of like a brawl between the Yankees and the Tigers. I mean, this is my, my favorite one. That was like two or three, no, a couple years ago, right? Yeah, like yeah. 19 or something like that. No. Oh, 2019. 2019. Yeah, okay. 2019. Yeah. And I, uh, and not 1998 with Stanton and, and Judge, you know, when they're in their diapers. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, when it was against the Tigers and, they literally took the entire pack and just moved it away. Mm. Like the two of them against all of Detroit. And it was just like, okay, well, this is not going to happen. Yeah. And <laughs> that was, I was at work when that happened. We were like, oh right. my God. And then there was Nolan, Nolan Arenado throwing uh, or going against Luis Perdomo mm -hmm. and the Perdomo throwing his glove and missing because that's how bad his <laughs> command was that yeah, day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, do you remember the Manny Machado when he when he purposely threw his bat at Josh Donaldson oh on the God, third baseline? Right. There was a. I mean, I hate to talk about it too, but this was a defining moment. Obviously, very sad that Jordan Ventura passed away. Right, of course. And he had that. He had a very big brawl in in Baltimore between sure. again him and Manny Machado. Right. I'm you, there were brawls that have defined this game. Yeah. Robin Ventura, you know, Nolan Ryan. Of course, that's a I great one. Do, oh, man. Mm. Uh, here comes Alex with the negative, but now we're 20 I minutes know. in, and all we're doing is talking like, about great brawls. It's just... Uh, 
Yeah, base brawl. Okay. Um, before we go on to to the next one, mm-hmm. we need to take a quick ad break. So thanks for listening, and we'll be back in just a moment. Hey, it's the ad break right now. This is this is bonus content for the video. Oh my god, what was that? Of oh, the corner of my eye. Was it? <laughs> was it? A, was it a sneak Farnsworth? Well, I didn't. Think well, it was, everyone, yeah. everyone watching live on on Twitch right now, uh, if you can go rate and review us on iTunes, it goes, does a whole lot for us. I want more water. You wait, what? You want more water? You I, want out? More water. I gave you like I reupped your water. I know, I'm a thirsty man. Well, I put it away. All right, fine. Well, you can actually get it from there if you can like crawl out of it right now. No, 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 it's good. I'll All right, we're live. We're gonna come back. Die. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back. All right, it's the Nick and Alex baseball show. I'm here with Alex Fast. Actually, here he's actually he's oh, actually. <laughs> He's actually like abused this podcast. <laughs> um, but uh, what we're going to do now is wild thoughts fast. And I'm going to throw it to you first. I got none. I know you do. I don't have one. Oh, my right God. Now. Oh, okay. That was, just, that, was just, that was a bumper. That was a lovely bumper. This was uh, this unbelievable. It was like yeah. a whole cinematic experience. <laughs> I don't know. I, I you honestly. You got to watch it live, guys. I tried you got to do it. I tried to think of one of them. Walk over. I walked over here from the place we were saying. I couldn't even think of one. So, Nick, what do you got? And I'll see if I can think of another one. Um, I think it would be really fun if there's a day where that it actually counts every year that uh, you can only you can only play players who have retired oh uh, from that team yes oh yeah and then there's a whole like draft selection of like people that play on different teams to see like you got to win that one day so then you can have like bribes of like hey how you doing Movon? i need uh i know you've been on a couple teams but we need a big first base bat for this mm. like we need you to come in you know and the Julio Franco, I mean, that guy is going to clearly sweep the floor of everybody else who's retired. Yeah. You know? So this would be interesting, too, because then it would introduce this notion of, like, come retire for our team. Yeah, right. Just so that we can get that one game in yeah. July that might make the difference for us to make the playoffs. Yeah, that is really interesting. Yeah. I don't have one. Oh, my God. Fast. I'm sorry. Just, just open your mind. I literally came up with that five seconds before I said it. I'm, I keep you thinking, got this. I keep thinking about brawls. Someone, someone. <laughs> okay. Would, do you, do you want a requirement then once a year if a team doesn't get into a brawl that they have to get in one? I'm gonna. Okay. Rep- that would be the funniest thing ever. Then like they lob a pitch to hit the guy in the plate, and then and he's like, "Oh, come and fight." Pickle Wizard ninety nine, who I believe won a sub last week. Yeah. The week before, he has one. Okay. What is and, it? Fast? And it's about brawls. He yeah, wrote yeah. it during. He, he Shocking. It during. More than eleven. Replace brawls with manager fights. He capitalized manager, manager fights. fights. He, he, I love that he capitalized manager fights. Uh, at home plate, loser gets suspended and <laughs> gives up a run. What? I absolutely because so Scott Service so, went into that fight. I know, you know. I, props to him, man. He was. I mean, he had every right to be so upset. And he was like, "Whatever, I'm doing." This. Just thinking about hiring, like, all right, we got to get the manager who's smart, I know, right? but the most. Yeah, you, you can't get like the most. Like, I'm done with this. Yeah. You know, you, yeah, you can't get that. Uh, what was the guy's name? What was, what was Tom Hanks' character in League of Their Own? I don't remember. Yeah, but him. You you want to get that guy. No, guy you who, don't. He's just drinking in the, oh, reading the paper in the, in the Yeah, dugout. Jim Leland would have been terrible. <laughs> I don't know, man. Jim Leland? I feel like he's got that old man I don't, fire. I don't think he can run two what, steps imagine without what coughing he can, yeah, but What can he do with that cigarette in his hand is oh, the question. Oh, because <laughs> that he just burns you in the eye. That's a like trick cigarette from Leland. <laughs> No one would want to go to San Francisco because Kapler would just destroy them. Oh, Craig Lord. Council would never show his face at a baseball game oh, ever God. again. This is Brandon worst. Hyde's a, 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 you know. So much violence today. We started with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Which is violent. I know. This is what I'm saying. Like, we said. Oh, Weaver would have won 40 World Series. Oh, my God. Orioles with who? No, it doesn't matter because he would have fought every game. Earl Weaver. Weaver. Games. I can just see everybody putting out his, their hand on his head and be like, he's oh. trying to swing at them and he can't do it. No, he's feisty. He knows how to get around those <laughs> things. Um, all right. Uh, we're going to move on to our next segment here. Mine was manager should fight. Thanks to Pickle Wizards. Yeah, yeah, all right. Eric, Eric, you got a question for us every single week. I'm curious. What is your question this week? Which is actually last week. It was like the manager that you'd fight with. Yeah, it was good. So there you yeah, go. yeah. We got, look at it. More manager fighting. So what's the question this week, Eric? Um, I was going to ask you guys. Uh, like a silly question that was like, I want to get to know you guys. Like, I want people to like learn oh. about you. But instead, I think maybe we should do like, which mascots should we see fight? Which would be our favorite mascot? Oh my God. Oh, oh wow. I got to think of them in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, you know? yeah. I mean, this is a, the Philly fanatic is, is the best, right? So yeah, it's but like, I mean, what, he, look, he's like he to me oh! is like King DDD in Smash Brothers. He's sure. so he's a punching bag. Say whatever answer you want because it's gonna be wrong because I got the right answer. Go ahead. Um, well, I've got a couple in my head. Go shoot. Uh, I kind of want to go with uh, the Brewers mascot. Oh, Bernie Brewer. Because he's going to know that drunken fighting style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. You yeah. know, Bernie Brewer's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can slide down and slide kick to you. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's where I'm going. No one. Oh, you said mascot and it's baseball. No one. What, Mr. Matt? No. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a tag team. It's like ice climbers. I'm going to the KBO. Swole oh. Daddy. Oh, come on. Swole Daddy. The KBO NC Dinos. Lar is him. Swole Daddy. Jacked. Dinosaur, no one, no one is beating a jacked dinosaur. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to hear what you got a jacked say. dinosaur. That's what he is. Look, I'll show you a photo. Or of like Daddy. all dinosaurs jacked. Swole Daddy. What is like the chubbiest dinosaur? <laughs> uh, Stegosaurus. Is that, I don't know. It's pretty jacked. <laughs> Swole, look at Swole Daddy. No one's, he's got a mask and everything. Look at those. He's okay, yoked. that's pretty. He's pretty yoked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you no, know, he's a, he's a yoked brontosaurus. It's unbelievable. No one's gonna beat him. What was the what was the other question you were gonna ask us about to get to know us, Eric? What was yeah? What question? was that one? Like a giant. Do you guys feel like a giant could step on like a giant, like a dinosaur? You know, the same as with giants. That could be a hundred feet tall. Oh, but yeah, they, they, don't have a they don't have a mascot though. Not like the guy in the costume. Oh, so it'd be the seal. Is oh, that what they have? It, that's they what have their mascot seal? is? Like Lucille? Yeah. It is Lucille. Yeah. No way. Did they steal that from the rest is of that, right? <laughs> Lucille and Crazy I, Crab? I didn't know. Crazy Crab. Crazy. What, is it, is what it like. Has, what has God <laughs> rocked? Oh my God. Debuted what? in 1984. No. Retired in 1984. That is real. Oh my God. Eric, if you can find a way to get this on the screen, you have to. Here's the image. If you're listening right now, you have to. Like, we'll Oh my god! I, I I don't know how to live. Like, how am I going to sleep? <laughs> uh, Wait, I sent you an image in, in, in Discord. Uh, I, I just, I it's this is, this is the most what? First of all, why are his <laughs> eyes bleeding? Why have we not let them have a merciful death? <laughs> They did. They retired of the year he debuted. He's I <laughs> they retired the year he debuted. Yes. I, I'm so shocked. And that, yeah, exactly. They are. <laughs> Hey guys, no, 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 I don't need any more cocaine. I've got a great idea for a mascot. His name is Crazy Crab. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh my no. God, this is a crab? We're going to give this him human like, legs. No, no, this is an orange that they've stuffed like ears on. I don't. His eyes are pointing in different directions. <laughs> Why does he have like an anthropomorphic nose for some oh reason? My God. He's got such a tiny hat. Like this was approved. This was vetted by so many people. Wow. I mean, yeah, there, there he is. is. That's oh, the real image God. of the week. The Can we do, do like fan of the game or something like that? It's it's crazy crab. What are, like it's even its legs are just look like it's like locks, you know? I, I, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yeah, we, so we know. Oh, those aren't ears. Those are those no, are those claws. are the sensors. Yeah. And how is it? How does he put the hat on? I don't know. <laughs> that on. Can we? Can we? This is my favorite part, Eric. Can you go down to the bottom of this image? Oh my God! Yeah, he. The chat says he must have been popular with children. This is this is terrible. <laughs> Look at this! This is a man. This is <laughs> no <laughs> attempt. There's no attempt to show how this is not just a man with these thick thighs. <laughs> like, what is happening here? Those are Zelda's thighs right now. This is, uh, yeah, seriously, oh this God. is a little chunky baby thighs. That's, I love. He's just wearing like white kicks. Uh, that's unbelievable. Uh, it, wow. This is okay. I, I, Luckily, he's retired. What a great little i'm happy you found that fast yeah thank god I've, yeah that poor oh, ball, ball in it. how far is that ball gonna be thrown <laughs> there's there's nothing he's gonna it's, get behind it's, it it's like that cat in like the, you know in, the, in those shops that like never stops moving up and down like <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. how he would throw that ball that's how he's gonna throw it yeah I, hey bless up crazy crab i'm gonna bless be here for up. halloween <laughs> yeah, uh, oh man that would be wonderful that was good um uh, it's too bad you know maybe one week you'll just show up on video in that outfit in the crazy crab outfit. yeah and I'll have it too and be like, we didn't tell each other. I wish I could find Reddit to get them to find me the man who was the crazy crab for a year oh so we could my write God. a book about him. That, we, I mean, you know, we have the power of the internet. Maybe we can figure that out. Or Just the story of it. All right. Whew, that this was a good question. Is the story of a crab. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh man, who, who tried to be the mascot was really, really bad. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. Um, all right, we're going to talk about uh, actual baseball again. Uh, these, it, it's it's approaching that time where you can at oh. least have somewhat of a, a solid conversation about yeah. rookie of the year. Yeah, MVP. look at us being serious now. This is now, okay. The goofiness is done. Yeah, it's Get that done. Out of here. It's over. <laughs> So now we're going to talk about Rookie of the Year because this is where the conversation it gets interesting, right? I mean, now yeah. listen, Rookie of the Year, I think especially, there are dudes who could still be called up and just dominate from the All-Star break on and win Rookie of the Year, right? Like, in sure, my yeah. opinion, that yeah, could yeah. happen. Absolutely. Um, but where we are right now, let's get your AL and your NL Rookie of the Year. Um, well, let's, let's go back and forth. Yeah, I'm going to go my AL, you go AL, and we'll go, we'll go like that a little bit. Um, I think Jerry Pena has just blown us away Yeah. with how good he's done for the Astros right now. Nine home runs, six stolen bases. A uh, combined of 55 uh, runs in RBI thus far. I mean, he's just been super solid for the Astros and great defense behind uh, with them as well. Uh, for a team that lost Carlos Correa and they were thinking, oh man, we needed to sign him. We don't know how good Payne is going to be. He stepped up and just done an incredible job for him, for them. He's a core member of that team right now for that Astros team that should win that division. Tons, tons of credit to him. I mean, he could push off like a, could have a 4.5, five war season even. Yeah. If he continues at this pace. So Jeremy Payne is my pick. Yeah, it's it's a great pick. I mean, there's no. Uh, I, I think it's it's tough to argue, but I'm gonna argue it. Um, there there are a few people who would be interesting considerations. I saw an interesting tweet that like um, Bobby Wade Jr. is on pace to do yeah. something that only like Mike Trout has done in his rookie season with the amount of home runs and stolen bases. But for me, it's it is Julio Rodriguez because I think when it comes to Rookie of the Year and really when it comes to awards in general, we're still seeing a little bit of the old mentality where defense isn't as brought into consideration metrics probably aren't as considered as much as we want and at the end of the year if julio rodriguez has a 2020 season which he's likely to have right he's got 11 home runs he's got 19 stolen bases yeah, amazing this is fantastic so he's probably could end the year with 30 stolen uh, 30 stolen bases no way he's gonna get to 30 home runs but still a 2020 season for a rookie if he's gonna bat 270 whatever i don't know i think that might solidify him in that rookie of the year spot um there's also the prestige thing. Maybe the Astros get that. Like, you know, that, that is an important thing in my mind when it mm -hmm. comes to these votes, like who's on the, the, you know, the better team. Yeah, sure. Um, but I don't know. Julio Rodriguez, I think, has an interesting chance. Uh, there's one problem. Hmm. He's just going to get thrown out by the Angels the entire year. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, until they finally you, nail him. Have you heard about this brawl that happened? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Also, we're both wrong. It's Adley Rutschman. He's been on fire. <laughs> there you go. Uh, NL pick of the year. Who is it? For, for me, the, the yeah. NL pick of the year, I went back and forth a little bit. I was taking, trying to take a look at some of the pitchers, and I looked at who your guy was going to be. I ended up going with Michael Harris. I believe it was Michael Harris the second. Mm. Um, He's actually been right. Yeah, Michael Harris is good. Um, he he. I don't know if you know his slash line right now. So it's just been 100 plate appearances, but 330, 355, 524. Nice. With a 142 WRC plus, three home runs and three stolen bases. He's been fantastically, 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 been fantastic just, defensively. Yeah, uh, he is the reason why I think Ronald Acuna Jr. is going to be able to play in right field, take it a little bit easier, not right. play it, you know, it, be able to rest up a little bit more, maybe be the DH. Um, also, if you take a look at his his baseball savant page, was trying to see if this is kind of smoke and mirrors. He's like 98th percentile in max exit velocity right now. Oh, like, really? He's still smoking the ball. Oh, okay, he hits the ball hard. That's pretty good. He hits the ball hard. He plays elite defense. Yeah. So I don't know. He's got great speed. So I don't know. I wonder if he can continue to put it together and be a kind of dark horse uh, a rookie of the year for right now. I mean. You know, Spencer Strider's on the same team, mm -hmm. and uh, he's pretty cool. I, I, I was debating between him and Mackenzie Gore, yeah. and I think the fun of Spencer Strider, just the idea that if he does lock in and throw as many strikes as he needs to, I mean, we've all seen him on national television at this point, just looking amazing. Quadzilla over here with Quadzilla. one of the most dominant fastballs out there at the moment. As long as he gets a slider in the zone, too, I mean, he can run away with it. With On a, an Atlanta team, it really has two locked starters at this point because Charlie Morton came back mm. and did it. And obviously, Max Freed. Hopefully, Kyle Wright is at that same level. I have my concerns currently across the last six weeks or so. His command is uh, faltering a little bit. But then Ian Anderson has just been very inconsistent for them. They lost Wasker Noah just because he was not the guy that they saw in the first half last year. So Spencer Strider has this spot. And if he continues to be this guy, I know we talked about it on our On the Corner podcast about what role Strider could have potentially down the line. Um, but I can see him going, I don't know, 140 innings or so this year, something yeah. like that, 130, and just dominate four for Atlanta if he can develop that consistency. I mean, also Mackenzie Gore, don't rule him out. The last three starts have not been as good as what we've seen before. But the Padres have been needing these arms uh, as Nick Martinez is long relief for them. He's the sixth man. Clevenger hasn't been consistent. Everything we talked about before with the Padres, 
And Gore, if he, you know, he has his fastball, it's really good. And if the secondaries come along too, he's going to be a steady rock for them as well. So those are my two guys. Obviously, I'm going to go pitching whenever I can. Really was no straight AL guy. I mean, Joe Ryan, by the way, is leading in uh, AL pitchers at the moment. Yeah. It's just about one war and has not quite locked in, especially after uh, returning from COVID. I had a tweet a couple weeks ago that was like, who is the AL rookie of the year at this moment? And I included Joe Ryan because I wanted to include a pitcher. I left off like Bobby Witt, and, you know, whatever. Right. And yeah, it was interesting to consider him for a part of that conversation because I think there are not a lot of pitchers so far, maybe just Strider who have consistently like blown people away as a rookie. I forgot there's one other guy. Who? It's Shane Boz. Yeah, uh, that could be interesting. Yeah, right? that's a good one. I mean, I, I totally one. off my radar because he has not pitched enough this year. And you kind of think like, oh, it's Shane Boss, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he should be good the rest of the way now, which would mean about 100 innings or so, 110, something like that. I, I, I could be wrong with that. But if he is that good, as we've seen, then maybe Shane Boss just demands it. All right. Well, let's move on to uh, the MVP. Before we so move into this conversation, because this is going to provide the context for this conversation what i want to know is yeah. so i'm going to pull up the exact stats right now <clears throat> this okay. is a conversation we've been having in uh on on the corner uh and this is about shohei otani so yep. currently <clears throat> excuse me shohei otani has 16 home runs with eight stolen bases he's slashing 260 343 487 so that average is better than his mvp year but the uh, the OBP, the slugging, the WOBA, um, and the WRC plus are worse than it was in his MVP year. And over on the pitching side, 2.90 ERA, which is better than his MVP year. Same with the 1.01 WHIP. Same with the 33% K rate. What I want to know from you is like, how high can the ERA be, and how low can the let's say average be, or let's say WRC plus, because that rounds it out a little bit more before we put him out of the MVP conversation. Yeah, I, I don't have a good answer for you. I, I wish I did. I don't think there is really that distinction, but it's just as long as we recognize Otani as among the best hitters, or at least among like def defiantly above average, and then you have him as a starter that's defiantly above average, right? Mm -hmm. You got to give it to him. You, you just the, the absolute value of what he provides for the Angels is insane. Yeah. I mean, I don't really think I need to go into that anymore. And I know your pick is having an unbelievable season. You actually wrote in the notes, aha, you can't choose him. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't want to choose him. Well, yeah, I... You, know, you want to choose my guy for that now, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, for, yeah, I wrote him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you absolutely did. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I got my picks this week, guys. Yeah, I got mine. You did, even though you cheated on the... On I did not the, cheat. The Cy Young, I typed How? it in quicker. Okay. I typed it in quicker. Okay, that was unfair, because you know that's mine. No, 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 but I, I didn't purposely do it that, because I looked at the... I, it made sense. It jumped mine. off the Fangraphs page. Mine. Oh, it's... And uh, I did beat you out typing it. You just didn't notice. Otani... No, so true. Otani <laughs> um, is... Uh, would theoretically be my pick as well. I mean, Gotta I think it's, really, it's tough to argue the... It's not oh. fair necessarily to yours, but it's just... Well, you have to. It's, it's I don't, just but I so don't, unbelievably valuable. I don't know if it will happen if his stats are a little bit under what they were last year. Like, I think if he finishes with a 3-3 three, three ERA... And a 250 um, uh, average. But he I has like a one. Let's say he has like 125 WRC plus or something like that. I I well, what was it last year? Let's uh, see what way it was better last year. Than that. I yeah, it was like 152. Yeah, it's 132 right now. Exactly. So what I'm what I'm thinking because I, I agree with you. I think he should be the MVP. But what I'm thinking is if people see that he didn't put up the numbers he did last year as an MVP, uh -huh. knowing Judge's status, knowing all of the drama around him with, is he going to re-sign with the Yankees? What's that contract going to look like? He wants to be the most expensive player in baseball. Right. Um, and the fact that he is probably going to hit, what, 45 home runs this year. He's got 28 right now. We're not even at the All-Star break. Right. I, I don't know. If he hits 45, there is a good conversation to be had. Absolutely. That... There was a good conversation last year with Vlad Jr. winning the Triple Crown, right? Totally, yep. And he, what happened? He didn't get a single first place vote. Yeah, that is unbelievable. Right? And that's yeah. kind of the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you're right. I, I do think Otani, if, if he ends the year this way, is definitely the choice. Um, Let's let's move on to what yeah, our... So, so yours was Judge, in yeah, case you didn't yeah, get sorry, that. His sorry. was Aaron Judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just so, in, <laughs> so ingrained in the actual conversation. Never got to state who mine was. Uh, for, the, for the NL, uh, who is the player that you wanted to pick? The player that I wanted to pick... And I stole him no, from you. No, was, this was Cy Young. This was Cy Young. Uh, okay, well, anyway, you took Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, I didn't, want to take, I didn't want to take yours. I didn't want to take yours. He's your boy. 
He's not my boy. He's, he's your boy. boy. It's not true. No, no, no. It's, it's, just because he didn't sign with you doesn't mean he's not it's your boy. It's not anymore. about that. Uh, that was the highest I've ever heard fast <laughs> in my life. Uh, no, this this was my choice. I think it is going to be uh, uh, going to be Paul Goldschmidt. I mean, again, I think overall the more well-rounded player right now is Manny Machado because he's just defensively he's an absolute stud. Not, right. I mean, he's, Goldschmidt isn't uh, you know a slacker himself at first base for what's worth. Yeah, I, this is I curious. Mean, Machado's better, but it's still you know. Let's take really a look good. at defensive war by first base. Oh no, he's actually the he's the worst in baseball. Wait, Goldsmith? Yeah, seriously? <laughs> Did, wait, really? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> worst in baseball. <laughs> Uh, wait, 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 hold on a second. Did like Goldsmith like win a gold glove like oh, multiple already. years? Let's take a look at that. A mega melee. <laughs> mega melee. That's wait, that's fascinating because like that's part of the whole Cardinals equation about us treating their Oof. defense so well. Oh lordy, yeah, wow, yeah. Last what? year he was like ninety third percentile right. out of average. This year he is second. <laughs> Uh, wait how did that happen i have no idea is he just in win vr all the time and he isn't focusing on his defense enough this is unbelievable did you say win vr yeah that's that thing that that he uses that all yeah, yeah, like his favorite I, I thing just, i just thought that was cool i wait how did this this is kind of remarkable anyway it might not even matter because this is a what i, I think what's his age 80 um he he said he's an older gentleman uh, who he's hitting 347 I right know. now. He's, he's doing really well. He's winning my fantasy teams. For me. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's like unbelievable what this man is doing. And you, I remember it was like in the middle of the beginning of the year, middle of the beginning of the year, he was doing well. And you were like, okay, this is going to die down a little bit. And then each week he just got better and better and better and kept putting up great numbers. So I don't know if he keeps this pace up, it's not going to matter if he's, if he's hitting 310 at the end of the year with, you know, what 30 home runs, 25 home no not 25 is it 19 now that's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough. i mean okay so how much do you put weight into the team into and the team as not in like there you don't at all no do you think that the voters do uh yeah yeah okay Which so i mean so, I so the, judge the, what, what you're talking about then is not like i uh, you know who will get voted you're saying like this guy should and they're wrong for not you know for including the team stuff because i mean my, manny machado likely will be on a playoff at least contending team or so with the Cardinals. I mean, they could be right. I mean, it, it, this is what I'm saying is like uh, that's why I asked do you think the the playoffs or are the Cardinals are going to make it. Right? Um, I I I personally, if it's my votes, I don't care. But I agree that the voters will think who is the player that helped bring them their team to the playoffs. Right. Okay. I mean, because I mean, Machado is playing the team on their back, his back right now. I mean, it's insane. Jerks and Profar. How do you think he's scoring all those runs? That's true. That's good <laughs> uh, Manny Machado right now, 12 home runs, 48 RBI. Uh, sorry, runs, 46 RBI, 7 solid bases, 328. If you want to do your average thing, his Woba, 402 right now. WRC plus 164 with already four war. And we're not at the halfway mark yet. Every number you said was worse than Goldschmidt. Every one. Every, seriously, every single one. Every single one. He's got more home runs. He's got a higher Woba. He's got a higher WRC plus, And he's got a higher war. Lovely. That's unbelievable. I'm actually really shocked. Wait, what was what was Machado's war? Uh, 4.3. Oh, sorry. No, he yes. has a 4.1. He's got a 4.1. Yes. And that's the defense. Yeah, yeah, that's clearly the second worst, <laughs> like second percentile versus the. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that's that's interesting, though. I mean, you're saying like when you say that everything else is worse, it's not like dramatically. So it's, it's like, OK, a little bit worse. And then no. there's like, oh, the defense. Um, well, he's got a 199 WRC plus. 199? <laughs> Oh, it's, like, Schmidt. it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's crazy. I want, I'm okay. So now, now the conversation is like, okay, that's what they've done so far. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about the like next three months or so, three and a half months. Do you think that Goldschmidt's going to hold on to this? If he, I don't know, if he's continuously focusing on his offense as opposed to his defense, <laughs> he hasn't showed signs of slowing. You know what I mean? You don't hit 347 and show signs of slowing. I don't know. I'm going to say I mean, no. He's not going to be 199 in the BRC plus. He's not. If he is, Give him the MVP. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. If he's near a 200 WRC plus, I'm for it. Yeah. I'm going to argue that I think Manny Machado's success is more sustainable. Okay. And that, that, that's where I'm at with that one. I agree. Um, let's move on to Cy Young because finally I know things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cy Young pick. I, I want to hear yours first for the AL fast. And do you know this player? I didn't know you actually even knew who Kevin Gosman was. Oh, there goes ruined. Yours, yeah. are, yours are boring because they're true. Yours are boring because they're going to happen. <laughs> Wow, I'm man, I'm the worst because I'm right. Yeah, <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> I picked Kevin Gausman because uh, he, he's been great. And last night, he uh, was the last been night. Great. 
No, last night he was able uh, last to. Last night, yeah, yeah. This we're recording this on Tuesday night, so yeah, it was on Monday. It was on Monday, yeah, and he yeah. he. Yeah. Actually turned it around against the Red Sox. Yeah. I, if you're looking, this is the conversation that we have all the time. All the time. When it comes to Cy Youngs, mm. you look at what? What? ERA. I look at ERA over innings. Yep. That's and all, I, I, all I care about. And I look at FIP. Oh, and he no. is the leader in FIP. Oh, no one. It's not the... <sighs> It's, it's not the who award. the best individual pitcher is. The Cy Young Fine. is who the best oh individual God. pitcher is. No. FIP says, don't worry about the defense no, behind you. Fast. That's the right thing. People oh, want to hear the right stuff. Okay, so wait, is your NL pick uh, Alex Cobb? Is he the leader in FIP? He's pretty much there. No, no, no. Who's it's, the leader in FIP for the NL? Let's take a look at the leader oh in FIP Would he get a Cy Young vote from you? Let's take a look at the leader in FIP Would he get a Cy Young vote from you? Yes, he would. Alex Cobb? Yeah, why not? Because he he's, shouldn't. He's been he's been unbelievably unlucky. The, oh, one of the man. worst left on base percentages Ugh. in all of baseball. These Look. are the FIP leaders in baseball right now for the NL. Okay, so the if idea, we're going by FIP. The, the, Zach Wheeler, Carlos Rodon, Max Fried, Aaron Nola. There you go. These are good pitchers. Yeah, these are guys who could win the Cy Young. Yeah, where's Alex Cobb? Alex Cobb. He actually might not be under because I don't know if he qualifies. Oh well, I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> 50 innings, minimum of 50 innings. Alex Cobb would be. No, I don't think. Is he, has he thrown 50? <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> so sad. If it was down to 50, it would be Spencer Strider, by the way. Oh, Spencer Strider? Your. My, your. My Spencer. rookie of the year. So take that. He's, Alex Cobb's got a 322 FIP. That's I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna flip this table. I'm gonna flip this table over because you're this argument. But bananas. You, oh my god, it's not bananas. Anyway, I think that's silly. I think the idea that oh, in like a hypothetical world, he would be this. But like, why are we gonna turn away from what actually happened? And what actually happened is what the award is. Oh, you know what? I would have been employee of the month if all these things didn't go through. And oh, if I got those sales, then I deserve more sales. And I would have been employee of the month. But no, give it to the guy that actually made all the sales. What? That's crazy, right? ERA happened just as much as FIP did. What are, what, are you, what are you talking about? It's just as subjective, right? Uh, yeah, sure. A home run goes over. That's an that's the an run, run scored or not? Did not score. Sometimes a, 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 a official scorer determines if a run scored. Oh man, I, I mean, all I'm saying on the book, that's what matters. Mm-hmm. On the book is what matters. Uh, when it comes to Cy Young, not about like the actual like however we want to say like hey the next day how they're going to perform, right? How we want to describe what happened. That's different. This, this is, is a, literally like how, like what the results are. And when it comes to an award like this, it's about the results. This is a pro Rick uh, Porcello. We have not even done this pro Rick Pro. Oh my God. <laughs> that is uh, your pro Rick Porcello right no, now. Do, yeah. not, do not do that to me right now. Don't talk. Don't bring up the thief in this moment. No, you can't call the thief anymore. I can. Because yours is, you're just like in trying to force the whole Garrett Cole Verlander thing. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just so wrong. Well, you were wrong about that. I right? was not. I know. Unbelievable. It was not wrong. Now Verlander's I got the thief. it right. I got it right. Verlander's Dude. the hamburglar. Oh, my God. All right. I who's your pick? This. Who's your pick? I, I'm so thrown off. It's Shane McClanahan because I'm a Shane McClanahan fan. I mean, the idea, too, is also about like what happens moving forward, right? Mm how the next three and a half months are going to go. And Shane McClanahan, the one problem I had this year entering the season about wondering how good he's going to be was, well, the fastball gets hit really hard, and that's why he has this really high whip. Well, what has he done? He's lowered the fastball usage and made it more dominant, more swing strikes on that pitch as his change of curveball and slider have been so good. I mean, this is he is so hard to hit. And I, I think they're, you know, now that the Rays are like, yeah, seven innings, sure, whatever you want, Shane McClanahan, just go and do your thing. It's amazing. I'm so excited for him. He's going to be my scion. You're going with the, the right boring choices. I'm going with the zest. I'm the fun uncle. Um, oh. And because I was going to go with Zach Wheeler, because uh, I think you can make a really good case for him. And he theoretically could, considering the year he had last year. And a lot of voters he, might be like, he, he deserved it last year. Exactly. And I think a lot of it, it's kind of like what happened. Uh, what happens in the Oscars where they're like, I oh, didn't get you it. Know, that you year. you know, he actually it. deserved it last year. Kevin Gassman. Wrong league. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, he was in the uh, NL last year. Oh, right. The Giants. Oh, my Le- God. <laughs> it wasn't Gelsman, though. It was uh, it was Walker Bueller. Yeah. And he didn't make it to as a finalist. Remember Walker Bueller? I told you. I completely Rest blanked that Gaussman was a Giant. Because also, the colors are the same as your Orioles. Yeah, orange and black. So I just was like, that is just all Orioles to me. I was so excited in 2014 to have an orange and black World Series. And then the Royals just saw that that didn't happen. 
Um, I, uh, I, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Is it because the Orioles failed you? The Orioles failed me, which led me to... Uh, when does that ever happen? Me realizing that I was wrong for breaking up with my now wife. And then I realized I wasn't sad about the Orioles. I was sad about breaking up with her. And then we got back together. And now we got a wait, baby. Wait, wait a second. So you're telling me that because the Royals beat the Orioles, you have a baby. 100%. 100 percent it is well, my wife's so least ha- favorite wait, wait. story so why aren't you just so happy about how bad the orioles are? they have given me life <laughs> right like what why are you p- pushing back on me with this oh no 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 you're still wrong uh oh, do you know see, that do you know I that this with. month behind the red sox and the yankees the orioles have won the most games we have our first this is our first Did winning they, have, month have they played have they played the most games of anybody no time? i don't think so I don't probably think so do you know they, they also they play the most games of the majors? Still. This is their first winning month since August, I think, of 2019. <laughs> you don't think Tyler, awful. you think Tyler Wells for that? Tyler Wells, yeah, you and... put you put that in. Uh, oh, we'll we'll talk about that guy maybe uh, in a moment. Uh, I I know I know. I wanted to do something nice for you once. I'm sorry, fast. This day. <laughs> All right. my, uh, but wait, wait, so Shane McClanahan has my L pick. All right, who is your uh, who is your NL pick? I thought it was good. I I I, did, I wanted to get a little more exciting. I think maybe it could be Max Freed. I mean, he's he's you know another guy we just talked about top five right. in whip, the two point five eight whip. He's really keeping that uh, uh, FIP, excuse me, keeping that whip down around one. He's even amping up the, those, those strikeouts. It's going to be the highest K percentage of his career uh, so far this year. Same with the swinging strike rate as well. Yeah, I, I think it was a little bit higher actually in 2018. But I don't know. I think he's putting together a good enough season that he could be an interesting person if he keeps putting up those numbers. I mean, it's going to be tough to catch your guy with the <laughs> innings that he's putting up. I get it. It's boring, but I don't know. I think he's going to get Max Freed. Interesting person. <laughs> <laughs> the most interesting man in baseball award goes to Max Fried. I mean, Max Fried has just been this rock for Atlanta, and that's really, really cool. Um, I don't think he's exceptional enough to win the Cy Young. I know he's, he's done well boring. so far. He is too boring. Sandy Alcantara, baby. That's mm, mm, yeah. Mm, Nothing mm. screams excitement like the Miami Marlins. Oh, don't blame, don't say the team. That's like saying FIP over ERA. Okay, let's talk about That's the actual the... guy. Let's talk about the actual guy and go get your Sandy Crush T-shirts right now because it's awesome. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for mine to arrive. Uh, you should get it. It's dope. And so is Sandy Alcantara throwing 98 mile per hour fastballs and sometimes maybe 101. Sandy Crush. Yeah, Sandy Crush, a Candy Crush. And, oh. he, and I have a crush on Sandy. <laughs> Yeah, my but, mind went to something totally different. Wow. Okay. Like remember the just movie? like crushing sand no, or something. No, no, no. Do you remember this movie? Oh no. What are you doing? Do you remember this movie? Yeah. I sadly. All right. I'm gonna name the actors, and then and you guys can let me know where where I was heading with this. Okay. Oh. Uh, no. Kate Bosworth. Oh my God. Plays Why, Anne Marie. This, what Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> okay. This came out in 2002. Directed uh. by John Stockwell. Okay, uh, there. I think there was actually a sequel. A sequel. Uh, this no. is the plot. As a hardcore Straight surfer DVD. girl prepares for a big competition, he's she finds watching the trailer right now. He's literally player. watching the trailer. Blue Crush, screen. baby. I'm talking about the cinematic classic of Blue Crush. <laughs> like Sandy just rhyme with blue. I was like, why? I was like, why? What do you have a Sandy Alcantara Blue Crush? How crossover? is that the first thing you think of? I don't know. My crush. my my brain is broken. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Anyway. Sadie Alcantara is the clear one here. His amount of innings and his just stability through this entire season is incredible. Ta-da. I'm sorry. I fell asleep. Yeah, you did. Um, uh, Nick, we only have eight minutes left. Are we gonna, oh, we, no. Uh, should, we, should, we, All right. should we skip to, should we skip yeah, to the... I just, who is, what's your pitch? Uh, pa- 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 <laughs> Paul Blackburn's curveball. It's a really good curveball. It's a really he's good curveball. He's able to get strikes. He's able to get whiffs. He's able to get all of it. He's got a sub 200 Woba. It's really good. And I really like it. And I don't think wow. people talk about that, it. That's enough. a lot. That's a lot more. Wait, than play I the clip. Well, no, play I the clip. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> Look at this. That's a big well, that's, that's, a, a, it's that's, a, a, that's, that's a mighty big. That's a wonderful hook. All right. That's a beaut. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, the uh, For me. It's I. Uh, it's Dean Kramer's cutter because he just got ten whips on it, and that's what we saw at the end of 2020. That got us kind of excited about. It. That was really bad last year. But look at this. He just showed up with mm. this, and he had this really nice uh, little stretch. And finally, we saw actual whiffs with that cutter. So, I want to give you something. I pitch of the week, Dean Kramer's cutter. Hopefully, it shows up later. That's nice, Team Israel. Yeah. Then. All right. Let's keep moving on here because we yeah we we might go a little bit. No, never mind. I. Uh, who will win the World Series? You asked fast. I asked who's going to win the World Series last week. Uh, I went with Atlanta. These are the, so for those who are listening, we do this every week. You every cannot week. repeat any no. of the teams that have been yeah, said. I, I, I counted through. We have like fourteen weeks, and we have like thirteen worthy teams. Oh really? Yeah. Some, but you know what? Sometimes it is more fun to give it to the good team that stinks but has been great that week. 
right? Yeah. And so, that's, so I kind of gave it to this team. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, so the teams that are off the board are the Marlins, the Orioles, the Brewers, the Mets, the Guardians, and Atlanta. Nick, who was going to win the World Series? Okay, so I totally forgot about the Mets. We have like 12 teams. Anyway, uh, the Seattle Mariners. They have an 8% playoff odds right now. They have an injured tied France and Julio Rodriguez and Eugenio Suarez. But then Jesse Winker is heating up. He's got a 293 WRC plus in the last week. I'm digging the guy. I got to say, Mitch Haneker hopefully can come back. Same with Kyle Lewis. All make impacts when they show up. They just got Carlos Santana. I know that's not a very exciting thing, but maybe Carlos Santana can be uh, a little bit decent. We've got Robbie Ray turning around with that new sinker. We have Logan Gilbert still being a rock for that team. We have George Kirby hopefully improving as the season goes on. Maybe Matt Brash does show up and become a stud reliever that the team needs. We saw this magic last year. And the biggest part, this team is fired up now. Oh, yeah. They have this. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw Seattle go on a stretch now after the series against the Angels. It feels so justified and uh, and just angry. And they have to prove it. And they that's the kind of thing that can get this team going. I'm really curious to see it. I think the Seattle Mariners can win the World Series. Yeah, I like that choice. I mean, I believe they still have, yeah, the, one of the best farm systems in all of baseball. They could be an interesting player for like a Frankie Montas, right? You know what I mean? Everyone, everyone needs Frankie Montas. Everyone does need Frankie Montas. I mean, like, just get Chris Flexen out of there, right? And then you uh, have Robbie Ray, for, Montas, and then a combination of Gilbert and, and Marco Gonzalez too. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, yeah. I mean, you don't that you don't want that, but Marco Gonzalez could have a playoff game of like six innings, two runs. He could he could do that, and he could be that guy that's like, oh, we're in between playoff series. Yeah, it's like Jimmy them. Key showing up. He's like, I hey, was just get Jimmy Key in there. A hundred percent. But yeah, like, everyone's I, like, who the heck is Jimmy Key? <laughs> <laughs> I remember Jimmy Key. I think we can. Of course think, you do. I think we can both agree that that rotation as it is now is not necessarily a rotation. The Denny yeah. Nagel. Kevin Millwood. Oh my God! Why are you spouting off all these old bitches? <laughs> it's just like it's just like the number four on a random team from the nineties. Yes, it's like a, that's insane. It was very impressive. Um, but yeah, give give them. I, that, I am curious to see how they're they're Jared clearly going to be active. <laughs> Jared Wright. Oh my God! Wasn't that J E R R O D? Right? No, I think it was E D. Uh, who am I thinking of? I have no Who's idea. That old Angel anyway. So Jared. we're going to keep going here because we only got a couple more minutes. And I uh, so fast. Who was? The play, the pitcher of the week that I put up there. Who was that chart of? Oh, uh, that. Yes. All right. Well, hold on. Let yeah, me chat, let's, let's bring it up there. again. Yeah. yeah. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing the crab again. It was the crazy keep laughing here. It's crab. The, crab, the crazy crab on the background. Uh, it was the crazy crab. Uh, people, people, also, people also yeah, who crazy is, who in is chat this for pitcher? Blue Crush. Who is this pitcher? Um, this pitcher. Is. Chat, take a look. Take a look yeah, at this. Yeah. I'll give you a I'm, hint. Oh, you, are you that confident? I know who it is. You know who it is. I'm I'm positive. You would walk a thousand miles for this guy. Yes. If I could just see his Michaelis. miles <laughs> tonight. It is that is Miles Michaelis. Yeah, it absolutely is. Yeah. Isn't that crazy how good he is right now? Sub one whip. We talked about it yesterday. He's the the top ranked pitcher on the Cardinals on the list. Unbelievable. It's crazy. It, it's it's absolutely nuts. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. And uh we've got a couple more minutes. What are you hyped about this week? What are you looking forward to fast? Just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go to bed. I just want to go to bed. I just want to go to bed. You know, bed. I have the air mattress if you need if you need a night. I gotta walk back to to you know to Carroll Gardens. I gotta schlep. Oh man, this is gonna be so difficult. Fast, this is uh, you're gonna, you know, no, in person is is so wonderful. This is nice. I was gonna say I was really excited for Brandon Woodruff's return, which happened tonight. It was amazing. Yeah, it was fantastic. Fastball velocity of like two ticks. We talked about it yesterday. We we didn't know how the Reynolds was gonna pan out. Now that he's got this treatment, he could just be back and here to stay. So yeah, I I'm I'm really happy that we got to see 10, 10 strikeouts. So that that was mine. Brandon okay, all right. I you know what in, in in the light of everything I've talked about today, my, for me for you it's all about the brawls. For me it's about the Padres and the Padres versus the Dodgers this weekend. You know I want to see that rivalry show up again. I want to see some emotion. I want to see some Mookie Betts dive catches to win mm. the game. Fight. You know. Well, no Mortal Kombat, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, I, I don't want. I don't want that. At the very least, give me to agree on the brawl thing. No, like actual like death or injury. Not like Carlos Quentin and Zach Greinke. Okay. Yeah. Of like, there goes my collarbone. Yeah. What a season. You know, I don't want that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. You know what I do a really good impression of? What <laughs> the guy at the? You know when you press the button at um at what? a crosswalk. <laughs> When you press the oh, button, so, uh, a... wait. Yeah, <laughs> See, that was terrible. You ready? <laughs> Hold on. Stop. Stop. Wait. <laughs> How good was that, that was Nick? That was... Eric. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Don't a... you dare. That no, was great. No, 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 it's a. 
Wait. No, it's not. It's, it's, quick. it's, it's a no, lot. It's not. No, it's not. <laughs> all right. Oh, you guys you guys have waited long enough. I just want to thank all of you for watching live for the Nick and Alex Baseball Show. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you rate and review us on iTunes. Follow us on Twitter at Alex Fast. Hey, I'm at Pitcherless. But my name is Nick Pollock. I'm Alex Fast, and we'll talk to you guys next week. Goodbye. Wait. See ya. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Bring on the crazy crap. <laughs>